So the course I'm taking right now is a new requirement for senior officers for a specific company. So all the classes, I'm gonna be coming back to my tags three times this vacation, which means from now until December, I'll be back here three different times. This is the East Coast, I live on the West Coast, so I have to fly back here every time I need to take anything. Um, so the key is trying to kind of work it so that you have, you're taking multiple classes at a time so that you don't have to come back that many times. I wasn't able to work it, I wasn't that lucky this time, so during this vacation my goal is to knock out all of the company specific requirements for senior officers, which means I'm taking just kind of random classes that I need to take in order to take relief chief mate jobs for either Matson or APL or Pasha. That's kind of what I'm going for. So one of the requirements for APL, for example, to be a chief officer with APL is um, to take emergency ship handling. Here's a little study guide here. We get a big old binder, case studies, and uh, kind of an overview of the PowerPoints, um, but most of the time we get to spend uh, in the bridge simulator, which is really good practice in general for both for the real world and for future testing. Um, there's There are more and more navigational skills assessment programs that are coming out, which are NSAPs, that require your the testing of your knowledge in order, in order to get a job. And that's like, you're in a bridge simulation where you're the pilot or you're the captain, you're the person in control on the bridge, and you're required to deal with difficult situations. It's usually heightened, very heightened in the bridge simulation just to like keep you on your toes and keep you nervous, keep you anxious, testing your ability to be able to get past those difficult things. So I really like this kind of situation. <laughs> It is terrifying the more you do bridge simulation stuff and testing like that. You kind of get, you know, more used to it. Um, there is a little bit of anxiety involved every time anyway, but um, this class is really fun because there's really no testing. It's just dealing with really difficult situations the entire time, like things that may, you may never encounter in your, in your entire career. But having this class means that they put you in these really difficult situations. You have to just figure it out. It's like you get in a collision, now what do you do? Obviously, you hopefully never want to partake in these really dangerous situations that put the crew's life in danger, the ship's safety in danger, and environmental costs, obviously. So because you never want to do this in real life, doing it in the simulation gives you the opportunity to see and feel what these experiences could potentially be like. I am in day two of this course. It's a five day course. It's just been really fucking fun. <laughs> what I love most about progressing in this world, in this industry, is that once a lot of your required classes are done, you're able to start taking classes like this that just help you more. Um, give you more practice. So it, it's a lot less nerve-wracking, um, there's a lot less pressure, like your job's not on the line, so you're able to just like take risks and try things and see like, okay, that works, that doesn't work. Maneuver with different vessels, um, but playing around with all different kinds of ship handling on different vessels, and it's just fucking fun. <laughs> and maybe you just have, a, have to be a really big fucking nerd to like it as much as I do, but uh, I know some nerds, so I know you're out there. <laughs>